Hello, and welcome to Scale Rapid, guiding you through the twists and turns of the tech world. Today, we're diving into a contentious issue, the impact of AI advancements on tech jobs, specifically, the massive layoffs that have occurred in 2023. Let's explore this together. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has stormed into our lives, revolutionizing sectors from healthcare to finance, and of course, technology. However, this radical shift comes with a cost. Goldman Sachs predicts AI could lead to the loss or degradation of 300 million jobs globally. In 2023 alone, tech companies have laid off an unprecedented number of employees, a move many attributes to AI and automation. Human resource departments aren't immune to this AI wave. Companies are using sophisticated AI software to make hiring and layoff decisions. These tools analyze employee data, considering factors such as skills, performance, experience, and attendance. They're designed to make the decision-making process more efficient and, in theory, more objective. But, as we'll discuss later, this isn't without its controversies. With the recent wave of layoffs in the tech industry, as of May 13, 2023, more than 141,000 tech workers have been laid off in the United States. This number is expected to rise as more companies announce layoffs in the coming months. The tech industry is facing a number of challenges, and it is likely that more layoffs will be announced in the coming months varied, but they are largely due to a combination of factors, including the economic slowdown, rising inflation, and the war in Ukraine. These factors have led to a decline in demand for tech products and services, which has forced companies to cut costs. 2023 has been a tough year for tech employees. Let's take a closer look at the top 10 companies with the most significant layoffs. These figures are a stark reminder of the changing landscape of the tech industry. The reasons given were due to the slowing revenue growth, increased competition, and rising costs. The total number of layoffs announced by these companies is over 70,000. It is important to note that this is just a snapshot of the layoffs that have occurred in the tech industry in 2023. There are likely many other companies that have announced layoffs that are not included in this list. Number 1. Accenture, 19,000 job cuts. Number 2. Amazon, 18,000 job cuts. Number 3. Meta, 12,000 job cuts. Number 4. Microsoft, 10,000 job cuts. Number 5. Google, 10,000 job cuts. Number 6. IBM, 9,000 job cuts. Number 7. SAP. 7,000 job cuts. Number 8. Salesforce. 6,000 job cuts. Number 9. Twitter. 3,000 job cuts. Number 10. Coinbase. 1,100 job cuts. The layoffs in the tech industry are a sign of the changing economic landscape and the increasing challenges facing tech companies. The tech industry is no longer immune to the challenges that are facing other industries. The layoffs are a reminder that even the most successful companies are not immune to the effects of a recession. While AI is causing disruption across the board, certain roles are particularly vulnerable. Jobs involving repetitive tasks, data entry, and those that don't require a high level of creativity or emotional intelligence are most at risk. For example, customer service representatives, data analysts, and even some software testing roles are under threat. But remember, this isn't the end. It's an evolution, and there are ways to adapt, which we'll discuss later. Here are the five tech roles that could potentially be impacted by the advancements in AI. Number 1. Data Analyst. AI can easily automate some of the tasks that are traditionally carried out in analytical jobs, such as business, data, and financial analyst roles. With the rise of AI, we can expect to see a decline in the need for data analyst. Number 2. Quality Assurance Testers. Machine learning algorithms can learn to test and debug software, which might reduce the need for quality assurance testers. AI can learn to run tests 24-7 and provide more comprehensive reporting than a human tester could. Number 3. Help Desk and Customer Support. AI-powered chatbots and virtual assistants can automate customer support tasks, which could lead to a reduced need for human customer support agents. These bots can provide instant responses to customer inquiries and are capable of handling multiple queries at once. Number 4. Network Administrators. With the advent of AI, network configuration, monitoring, and management can be automated, potentially reducing the demand for network administrators. AI tools can predict and diagnose network issues faster than humans, reducing downtime and improving system performance. Number 5. 
Cybersecurity Analysts AI can potentially detect and respond to cyber threats faster and more accurately than humans. While this doesn't necessarily mean that cybersecurity jobs will disappear, the role of cybersecurity professionals may shift from monitoring and response to strategy and system design, which involves working alongside AI systems. Remember, while AI can automate certain tasks within these jobs, it doesn't necessarily mean these roles will disappear entirely. Instead, the roles may evolve and the skills required for these jobs may change. Employees in these roles may need to focus on developing more advanced skills and learning to work alongside AI. With AI making critical decisions about people's careers, it's vital to consider the ethical implications. The risk of bias, intentional or not, is real. In 2017, Amazon halted the use of an AI hiring tool after discovering it favored male candidates. There's also the concern of privacy. With AI analyzing extensive employee data, where do we draw the line? Here are some of the ethical considerations and biases associated with the use of AI tools in hiring and firing decisions. Number 1. Transparency. One of the biggest concerns with AI tools is that they are often opaque and difficult to understand. This can make it difficult to assess whether or not they are making fair and unbiased decisions. Number 2. Bias. AI tools are trained on data, and if that data is biased, then the AI tool will be biased as well. This can lead to discrimination against certain groups of people, such as women, minorities, and people with disabilities. Number 3. Accountability. If an AI tool makes a mistake, it can be difficult to hold anyone accountable. This is because the AI tool is often seen as a black box, and it can be difficult to understand how it made its decision. Here are some AI tools that are used by tech companies to make hiring and firing decisions. HireVue. HireVue is a video interview platform that uses AI to assess candidates. The platform analyzes candidates' facial expressions, tone of voice, and body language to determine their suitability for the job. Pangea.ai. Pangea.ai is a talent intelligence platform that uses AI to assess candidates' skills and experience. The platform analyzes candidates' resumes, social media profiles, and online activity to determine their fit for the job. Ritual. Ritual is a recruiting platform that uses AI to match candidates with jobs. The platform analyzes candidates' skills, experience, and interests to find jobs that are a good fit. These are just a few examples of the many AI tools that are being used by tech companies to make hiring and firing decisions. It is important to be aware of the ethical considerations and biases associated with these tools before using them. Here are some steps that can be taken to mitigate the risks of bias and discrimination in AI-powered hiring and firing decisions. Number 1. Use transparent and unbiased data. AI tools should be trained on data that is as representative as possible of the population that they will be used to make decisions about. This will help to ensure that the tools are not biased against any particular group of people. Number 2. Test the tools for bias. AI tools should be tested for bias before they are put into use. This can be done by comparing the results of the tools to the results of human decision makers. Number 3. Have human oversight. AI tools should not be used to make hiring and firing decisions without human oversight. This will help to ensure that the tools are not used in a way that is discriminatory or unfair. By taking these steps, tech companies can help to ensure that AI tools are used in a way that is fair and ethical. Despite the challenges, there's room for optimism. Emphasis is now on upskilling and retraining. Tech jobs requiring creative and strategic thinking, like AI specialists and UX designers, are still in high demand. By embracing lifelong learning and adapting to new technologies, tech professionals can stay relevant in this changing landscape. Also, let's not forget, with the rise of AI, new roles are being created. Positions like AI ethicists, data privacy officers, and machine learning engineers are more important than ever. So, what can we learn from the layoffs of 2023? The integration of AI into the workplace is inevitable, and it's accelerating. As we move forward, the challenge is to use these tools responsibly, mitigating biases and ensuring privacy. The tech industry must also prioritize equipping employees with the skills they need to thrive in this new era. AI is here to stay, and it's reshaping the job market in ways we could have only imagined a few years ago. But remember, change often brings opportunity. Let's navigate this road together, learning, adapting, and innovating. That's it for today's episode of Scale Rapid Insights. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the world of technology. I'm Randall, and I'll see you in the next one.